Hey everybody, Brian from PMB Homesteading again. I'm going to do the uh, large grow tent update for this week and give you a little tour of uh, what's going on and how things are progressing. Let me grab a camera and bring it on over. Okay, so you remember last week we had the issue of the uh, water piling up down here in this one, one container, the uh, concrete mixing trays that I'm using for underneath my grow bags. And what I did is I took my little uh, water shutoff valve, I put one of those in my drip line here and I shut that off. And you can see the, uh, the water has gone down significantly in there, so it's starting to dry up. And then this week I'll probably turn that back on and let it start having more water. That way I can get that metered out to where it's not going to fill up and uh, have that standing water like it was. But the tomato plants, they don't seem to be uh, harmed in any way and they seem to be growing really well. As you can see, the, uh, there's a lot of fruit set. You know, down there and also on here and we got a lot of a lot of fruit buds you know flowers set here and some more another tomato back there so by the time we get into our colder months and we're running out of tomatoes we're gonna have plenty coming in here through the grow tent as you can see there's there's plenty to harvest back in here back in there and even on this older plant so here's the new one that's coming up and binding up it's doing really well it's already reached the bottom of the lights and I think I'm gonna have to uh, take these lights and actually do something like I did in the uh, salad bar LED and move them completely up to the top that way I can use the uh, get rid of those hangers because I just I just don't like those hangers those things just are I guess if you have plants that are gonna grow and stay down below four feet or six feet but in tomatoes they like to grow a little taller so uh, I'm gonna be eliminating those hanging things I wish they did have a hanging kit that was a little tighter you know, closer to the actual base of the light so you can control, you know, a little, your height a little easier. Anyway, I don't want to complain. Let's take a look at the, uh, the spinach. You can see it's really, really coming along, and I've noticed that uh, a lot of this stuff is, you know, it hasn't grown a whole lot, but it's already starting to bolt and put on seed heads. So I think this tent may be a little too hot for this spinach. So what I'll probably end up doing is, you know, I'll rotate these out, and then I'll, uh, put them inside the cooler tent because I like to run it a little hotter for the tomato plants but uh, I don't think the, the lettuce greens are gonna or the spinach greens in particular are gonna do too well in here so it's just a you know a trial thing just wanted to see if I can get it to, to grow in here and there may be something else I can switch in I mean because I mean you can take a look at this basil I mean let me rotate this camera down a little bit so you guys can kind of see the actual height of these guys I mean there's the base of the tray. Right there. You can see these guys are this tall. I mean, they're they're at least 18 inches, some of them. I mean, they're as high as that sunflower back over there. They're getting to that top. We've been harvesting a lot off of this, Paul and I, and putting it into our uh, our salads. And we had a couple of dinners where we put uh, this mixed in with some uh, pad thai that Paula had made this last week, and that was really good. This basil was really pungent and really sweet. So uh, we're really happy with this basil. We've got the, you know, we got the two types in here. We've got the Genovese basil, and I cannot remember what the other one was now. The tags are buried back so far in there. But uh, one of our other basil videos has the, uh, you know, earlier on when we seeded these, it has them on there. I think sweet leaf basil, something like that. But uh, and yeah, you can see back here, this tomato plant really, really has got a lot of fruit set back on there. So well, this is going to be. One of the ones we'll probably be harvesting off of first out of our newer tomato plants. This one back here, he's got a couple down there that are starting to turn black. And they've got the green on them still, but uh, I'm really happy with that. There's a lot more uh, flowers on this. And it seems to be growing really well. You know, the older plants, they're, uh, they've got a lot of fruit set. I mean, you can see there's a bunches of them there. So these are going to be basically used with our salad green mixes that we'll have over the winter. That's if I... Uh, I'll come down here and eat them during the week when I'm checking on my plants. <laughs> uh, Paula told me I can't do that anymore because uh, she likes these things as much as I do. But uh, here's our mint that we propagated. So you can see we've got the, the five here. You can see there's some new leaf coming on there. And right along here, you know, there's some new leaves coming out of the center. The sage seems to be doing okay. We only lost one of the, uh, the mint. So I'm pretty happy with that. So this should be growing pretty good uh, this winter. So we're going to have the mint for our teas and our coffees. So everything seems to be going pretty well with this big tent. 
and I haven't had any bugs or anything. The first year that I did have this, which was last year, I brought in a lot of uh, my tomato plants because I thought, well, I'm going to save them. And that didn't work out real well for us because I brought in the aphids. And uh, that, that's never too pleasing when you see a bunch of aphids eating off your, uh, your tomato plants when you're trying to grow something to eat. But uh, that's kind of the update for this week on the uh, large tent. I mean, it's uh, doing real well. I'm uh, happy with these new lights. Well, actually, these aren't the new lights. These are the Mars Hydros that have always been in this tent, and they were over in the salad bar LED area for a while. But uh, they, they do seem to put out enough light to make these uh, spinach happy to where they're growing, so I'm going to be able to get a couple harvests off that spinach before I have to probably toss it out to the compost bin because of the, uh, the bolting. I mean, I don't really know. I may, I may keep one of them and just let it bolt and see if I can get some seed heads off of that, and then I can uh, collect that seed, but... More than likely, I'll probably just toss it out there to the compost bin. And the poinsettia, you can see it's doing uh, real well. Got a lot of new growth in here. I put some organic fertilizer. I put the compost tea in there. And uh, it seems to like that when I dilute it down 50-50. So uh, another couple months, this will be up in our living room, sitting on the table for uh, Christmas. Okay, well, this has been Brian from b, &B Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. All right, bye.